Hey everyone, welcome to another Art Fundamentals video. I'm so excited to be here with you. I am Copera, I teach art. We are going to explore line in this video, this 45 minute exercise. Um, make sure you have your snacks and here we go. What we are doing is we are gonna write a title, first of all. We will warm up with different line weights before we go ahead and we start doing line weight. And then we'll go ahead, we'll work on our title. It doesn't need to be in box letters, but we'll write line at the top of the page. And I'm gonna make some points, some lessons and thoughts that you should be writing down. I have a little um, like list of all of the different words, academic words over here to the right. We will write those academic words in about 15 different boxes. Don't trip about everything being perfect. We'll highlight the different words. And what we're gonna do in this exercise is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start to explore line. We'll do all sorts of different lines. We'll do vertical lines. We'll do lessons. Sophie, come and say hi to everyone. And we will write down our thoughts and we will like use pen and pencil. Sophie, say hi to everyone. Uh, and then all, those are all the different things we're gonna do. And we're gonna go ahead, we'll, we'll outline the boxes, we'll make it pretty. I'll talk about different pencils and pens and the different quality that these lines can give you. My students, remember to pause your video if you're like getting overwhelmed. Um, you're gonna explore different line weights. We'll do zigzags. And the whole point of this exercise is so you can have more tools in your repertoire um, when you are drawing. Because line, guys, is shading. There is no such thing as too much line. Say hi, Max. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna just keep going. And just so you know, I'm a mother, uh, I'm a teacher, and I've been teaching for a long time, and I'm just telling you guys, doing this exercise is gonna make you feel more confident and more comfortable. So get out your supplies, supplies, supplies. You need a pencil, a pen, and yeah, like have fun. We'll even take the time to make the title pretty. It's going to be awesome. We'll make the title pretty. We will decorate the title with some of the line, different line techniques that we went ahead and did. And that will be the beginning of you going ahead and you exploring line. It's gonna be super cool. Um, get your markers, if you got your markers, your pencils, and let's have some fun. And we're on, here's the real time video. Da 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 da! Hi, hi everyone. Make sure you have your yogurt and your snacks nearby. It's time for another fundamental art video. Sharpen pencils would be good. Uh, and then uh, we have some dual tip markers. Uh, just kind of like have your art supplies around pen. Um, I have my music nearby. Thinking of drawing my headphones in a later video. Also make sure you have a drink. You're ready to go. I know I have some ice cream, but when you do art, you gotta get your snacks. Welcome to art class. So get all your materials. Remember to have an organized workspace. Make it, make your space. These things make great paint containers, by the way. These ice cream things. Special botch gelato. Okay, sharp pencil. Um, I have been craving doing something like this for the longest time on video. I just want everyone to uh, do a page where they explore line in all sorts of different directions. So I'm gonna review real quickly how to make a title to a visual journal page. Not that you have to do this, but how to do block letters. So if you're doing block letters, what you want to do is you want to count how many letters you have. I'm writing the word line. So that's uno, dos, tres, cuatro. That's four. So I make a box, a, a rectangle, and then I divide it into four. One, two, three, four. And then from there, I have four thin, thin, tall rectangles. And then what you do is you carve the letters out of it. It's a fabulous thing. It's a fabulous phenomenon. Now, before you start, I just want to model how important it is to uh, warm up. It is so important to stop and just like check 
make sure that you're uh, practicing your line weight. Dark to light, dark to light, light to dark, dark to light. So why am I doing that? Because I'm just kind of like shut and look, I am drawing from my shoulder. I am holding the pencil gently. I'm not holding it like, Rah! and you know, I just want to say, yeah, practice making some light boxes. I'm doing these drawings in an open space somewhere in my journal. Always give yourself the time to warm up. Take a photo and push it to seesaw. Okay, I'm practicing just a reminder from uh, our last class. There are four main shading techniques we went over. We actually went over five, but I'm going to talk about hatching. Hatching is a bunch of lines. And the second one is cross hatching. And the third one is blending. You turn your pencil to the side. Don't smear. You lose all the value. And then the last one is stippling. That's when you do a lot of dots. I don't have the patience for that half the time. Those are ellipses right there. I just did ellipses. It's like a curvy line. Good to do that. Okay, so always warm up. Aha. <laughs> That's my point. Always warm up. Always take the time to warm up. Stop docu. Stop document. I don't know what I meant by that, but that's funny. Stop document. Oh, stop and take a picture and post it to Seesaw. So you can see some of our past sketch stretches as I flip through my work. Um, the sketchbook is a place to explore different art fundamentals and to just practice. So carving out an N is hard. You have like the sideways of the N. So like calm down about that. Don't be like, oh my God, I can't do it. If this is extra, if I'm being extra, just write line. Just write exploring line on the top of your page. But you know, I like to throw in a little bit of spice now and then. You don't have to do this. You could pause your video. Don't obsess about making this title and be like, whatever, I give up. Okay, we haven't even gotten into the meat of it. Just write line up at the top of the page, okay? But yeah, like box letters. Why do they call them box letters? You make a tall box and then you call out the letter. So it's like, okay, I'm making an E. It's going to be a third I'm deciding where the N is going, where the line is going from the end. It goes to the top of the corner to the bottom. You draw a line and you know where you're going. So, you know, line. I went super light with my line weight. My friends who go like crazy dark, knock many of you. And then I can make adjustments with my eraser. So I just want to like show you guys that because, you know, in my class, some of you still never did your graffiti art project. And my belief as an educator is it's like, if some if a student doesn't do a work, sure, like it might be their fault, but it's probably because there's something I didn't teach. So maybe I didn't teach you enough box letters. So you are welcome to continue to do box letters and practice them. Okay, make another space on your page for lessons and thoughts and um, they will come up. You don't have to write just my lessons. You can write them. But the whole point of this exercise is to show that you are learning, right? So anything that comes to your mind. Now line, line, it's an art fundamental. And I just feel like it's not talked about enough. And um, the first lesson I wanna write down, you should write down, is line can go in any direction, okay? It doesn't need to just go away. It could go this way, nah, it go that way, horizontal, it could go, uh, what is this called? Vertical, it's late. Horizontal, vertical, diagonal, perpendicular. I mean, you could have squiggly lines. Let's make this video funny. Squiggly lines, I could go all over the place. Ah! I mean, it could be like so many different things. It just goes so many ways. So line, linea. Students, is that the Spanish version? Can you write in the chat, did I spell that right? Or is that some other language? Don't tell, but I'm copying from this glorious image on Pinterest. I'm getting ideas for this page. Steel. There is a chocolate bar. Don't mind that. That is my son. He like kept coming up and showing me a chocolate bar. 
he would glue it shut. And then finally I was like, can I just eat the chocolate bar? So I ate some chocolate. Bring your snacks to art. How are we doing out there? Pause your video, take a picture, take a picture of the fact that you wrote the title, line in any direction so I know you're out there, post to the seesaw. Or, you know, if you're a random YouTuber, I don't understand YouTube, but it's apparently a place where a lot of people go. Make a comment, say hi. Okay, guys, don't trip about these lines. I'm making a grid, okay? Five rows, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, just kind of eyeball it. You could go get your ruler, go get your handy dandy ruler that you got at supply distribution and use that, right? But it doesn't need to be perfect. Three columns, five rows, three columns. Okay, do light lines. Don't worry about being perfect. Okay, okay. All my students are always like, do we do that? And I'm like, yeah. Now, if you're already like, hold up, miss. Wait a second, you're being extra. Don't go back to sleep. Don't go turn on the Netflix. Hold up. Put your phone down. Put your phone down, students. I want you to keep going. Okay, you just doing half of this is something. It's better than nothing. I want you to explore lines. So I'm numbering my um, my rows one to five. Now, what I'm looking for this semester with my students is that they're really like some of them need to post. They need to produce more. So that's why I'm doing this video series. We're starting off light, light with the lineas, light lines. So broken, thick and horizontal, that's what I wrote. Broken, thick, horizontal, there's different kinds of lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the title of the different like lines so you know what it says, okay? So broken, thick, horizontal, wavy, wavy. Yeah, wavy or curly. And I mean, you really could do any, like you could put any word. You, you could pick your own. I just want you to explore a line. But you know, it's easy to just follow a video and not think. So wavy, curvy, oh, look at me. I'm trying to put in some fancy language. Omvulado, omvulado, omvulado. Um, what else I got there? I'm writing vertical, vertical. Vertical is a word that should come up in geometry. Straight. I mean, there are so many, I mean, it's just crazy. Like line is the building block of art and there's just so many different ways that lines can go. The line is the art of a pencil moving across the paper. I mean, that's what a line is. Check it out. Waka, waka, wah. Okay, so thick because I'm writing all these words down. Thick lines, lines can be thick, okay? And what I'm doing is, yes, I am copying something from Google Image, so whoever you are, person who did this, congratulations to you, Pinterest person. But I make, I give it my own twist. Thick and thin. So lines can be fat, they can be like teeny, right? There are so like millions and zillions different variations of lines, and lines, or what make art. I mean, if I drew lines around my face right now, you know, if I were to draw my face, it would be a collection of lines, right? Because the direction of the lines, that, that shows like how my face is bending. Lines tell a story. Lines tell a story, you learned it here from the YouTube channel. Have you guys been, has anyone watched Shit's Creek? I just love it how my rose talks. It's so funny. Um, I don't know. Use your highlighters, you know, highlight the words. Pause your video if you want to. You know, I don't worry about it. Don't be like, oh my God, what the heck is she doing? And you could kind of go ahead and put in all those words. Fabulous. I'm playing around. I'm noticing that sometimes the markers make the pencil sphere. So there's thin, there's dotted, 
There's straight lines. Okay, there's varied lines. We'll figure out what that looks like. But like, look guys, you know, you need to like learn these words. These are kind of like visual notes, right? So you're, le you're giving your space to explore. Okay, so I wanted to start drawing right away. I like took a break from the words. I was like, uh, I don't have any more words. So I'm gonna take a break. So lines could be broken, like, like line, 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 line. And they're broken. Oh, now you guys can see the words better. Awesome sauce. Like there could be like a dash, like all of a sudden there's a line and then it goes away and then it comes back. Those are cool lines, man. The broken lines. And that says something like, is the person broken? The quality of lines says something about the form, the way the form goes, the message. Okay, ooh, I'm adding in more broken lines. I kind of like skip around. You could skip around too. Go on a break, get your snacks. Okay, wavy, curly, ovulado. I'm throwing in my ellipses, yo, yo, my students. I love my ellipses. I just, when I started doing that, I started, I was like, okay, I'm free to draw. Drawing takes so much practice, so don't trip if it doesn't look good. It's like, and post something. Be like, I did that. Okay, always pause and go back and like, you know, warm up. Like I just, I, I'm trying to model that if you do a lot of ellipses on top of each other and ellipses is like an oval and I like it when they kind of disappear, that like repetition creates form, like makes a 3D sphere. And that's just a motion that you teach yourself. It's like learning how to shoot a basketball. <laughs> Or wait, I know, I don't know. I know how to do volleyball. Fum, fum. Okay, so adding the ellipses, ovulado, oh, oh, ovulado, oh, oh. You know, and like you're repeating, all those are lines. And here's the thing, line makes texture, right? Like that could be like my beard if I had a beard, all those little squiggly lines. Lines tell a story. Lines tell you how, if you repeat the line, you get a sense of how something feels. Like, look at all the lines in my hair. Line, 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 line. Like, isn't that cool? I think that's cool. All right. Okay, lines can be vertical and I'm throwing in an extra spicy lesson, right? See how I'm going dark to light? That makes shading. So I'm doing a bunch of vertical lines. It's technically vertical hatching. Hatching could go in any direction. And it's going light to dark. And it's kind of like, it almost looks like fabric bending. Oh, so like stop, write a lesson. You know, line can go in any direction for reals. And line can, what am I going to say? Oh my gosh, I scribbled. Line can be different. What brilliant idea did I have when I was doing this? I'm not calling myself brilliant, just trying to be funny. Line can be different weights, okay? Line can be light, line can be heavy, and you gotta like be okay with just feathering. Feathering, feathering. Don't hesitate, just feather the paper. So that's like, when I say weight, it's either you're pressing down hard, light, Hard or light. Like it depends, like you press down hard. And I draw from my shoulder, from my shoulder, shoulder. So vertical. So we got some broken lines. We got some wavy and curly lines. Vertical. Vertical. Vert How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope everyone's safe happy and healthy. I think about you guys all the time and how to get you to do art. I think about that too. I'm like, how am I going to get them to draw? But um, next lesson, number three, line creates shading. Line is shading. It's so funny at the beginning of the year, like I did a survey, everyone wanted to learn how to shade, right? But like shading, but line is shading. So you have to like practice drawing lines. So when I give line exercises, kids are like, I don't do it. But it's sort of like, you have to be free with doing a lot of line. Okay, and next lesson, there's no such thing as too much line. There are no such thing as too many lines because lines are shading. There's no such thing as too much line. There's no such thing as too much line. So something for you to kind of like keep in mind. 
Fabulous. Okay, thick line, thin line. You could draw with a pen, okay? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna draw an arrow and in this um, little box of thick lines, I'm gonna show heavy line weight because the harder you press, the fatter your line's gonna be, okay? And look at me, I'm just stopping. I'm enjoying making a little cloud. Guys, pause your video, show that you've made progress, right? I hope you started right away. You know, take some time to explore different kinds of lines. Don't get upset if it doesn't look how you want. I want you to fill this page with lines. I want every box to be different, all the lines to be different. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm getting, a pe I'm switching up my pencils. Because certain, pe oh my, no. I'm getting out a marker. I'm highlighting. Heavy line weight. Thick lines, heavy line weight. So I'm gonna press down hard. Okay, I have a bold pencil right now. That pencil says B on the side. And it's strong. And I have, I feel, look, I, I wanted to show you. That is a six, five B pencil. Now, some of my students got the special pencils, some didn't. But if you got the special pencils, the one that say B, you're gonna get thicker, heavier lines. It's just, you could press down harder. You could get darker values. So look, I'm even going different directions in the box. Like in the box, there are different directions. Okay, so what are the boxes for? Each box, I want you to meditate. Be like, okay, I'm going to do a different kind of line. I'm going to do a thick line. I'm going to do a different kind of line. I'm going to do a broken line. All right, and just keep going. Keep going. Repete, repete. Is that a word? Repetition, repetition. Je parle un petit français. Ça c'est bon. I hope this is recording. Okay, thin to thick. Thin to thick, thin to thick. So yeah, you know, pause, take a break of water. I need to stop talking so much. I'm just gonna like chill while the other me does like a pink border because color is pretty. And when you make your paper pretty, you're more likely to work on it. By the way, it's not required that it's pretty, but you know, people like order. No? So like, you're just kind of like making it organizing your thoughts, organizing your work, okay? Making it prêter. I'm gonna pause to make sure the audio is recording. I am back, 2016, 2017, 2018. I'm talking to myself, so I put this audio in the right place. YouTubers, are you out there? Can you explain to me how you record at the same time? I like using a different camera. I just don't trust Trust no one. You guys remember the X-Files? Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, and you know, go back to other boxes and add more. What we really wanna do is we wanna use the whole page of a sketchbook. You don't have to, but you know, you kinda wanna use every little corner of it. It's a space for learning and it's a space for growth and mess. Okay, what is that? That's an HB pencil. HB is right in the middle of the scale, like the value scale of pencils. H stands for hard, the B stands for bold. That's a 3H. 3H would be light. So why did I do um, that? Because it's easier to get a lighter, lighter thing. And so I'm doing thin, a delgado, delgado line, and it's easier to get a thinner line with 3H. Funny story. I was so bad in my basic drawing class in college because I like using so much line. I like, don't know how to hold back. And when I started using a 3H, like everything got better because I used so much line. But it's good, like it's good. You don't want to hold back, okay? That's a pen. I'm using a gel pen to do a dotted line. Any kind of pen would work. I recommend pen and marker when you're doing stippling, but lines can be a collection of dot. It's like a fancy broken line. That's a line right? And painters do dots. Like painters make lines with brushes. What do brushes do? They do like grueso 
lines. That's what brushes do. Grua so lines. Like that's what they do. So I need to do dotted line, dot, dot a lot. Okay, I'm wrapping up the dotted line, wrapping up the dotted line. Breathe in, breathe out. I wonder if you guys are listening to this audio. I hope you all. I hope everyone's okay. This is like a long pause. Stop, get your snacks, but always go back to it. You could throw in some yoga while we do art. Roll your shoulders back. Are you taking care of yourself? Guys, sometimes I hear my neck crack and it's very frightening. Get your calcium in. Oh. Um, so yeah, horizontal. Enjoy your youth. But yeah, horizontal, that's sideways lines. And I'm throwing in a line weight practice, dark to light. Dark to light. Now I'm adding a collection of horizontal lines. That's interesting. But what's up with your horizontal lines? That's like sideways hatching. So this is secret line is shading and you need to be okay with repeating a lot of line. You just need to be okay. Um, I am just going back. I'm adding more to my title to make it pretty. The purpose of this art fundamentals video is to explore a line. Just so everyone knows, we're exploring line. Fabulous. And we're going to keep going. And it's interesting. This video is going to run about 50 minutes. That's a good chunk of class. The point is you just keep going and, you know, stop your video. You do half of it, right? You do the rest during academic prep. Okay, so look, I'm showing how you can have light horizontal lines and dark ones. And that kind of creates an interesting texture. Again, like folding cloth. I've always wanted to do a video where I draw like pillows and cloths. We'll see if I ever get to it. Life is busy. Shout out to everyone who is like getting their classwork done and getting art done in this quarantine. I think that's super cool. Shout out to everyone who's taking care of siblings. Shout out to everyone who's just being you. I mean, you're beautiful. Okay, continuing on this merry-go-round, what kind of line am I going to do next? Zig to the zag. What? Yes, true story. Zigzags are lines, and they're fun. And I just was drawing a Basquiat painting. Am I saying that right? I am so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And oh my gosh, there are zigzags in that painting. <laughs> Oh, like just, uh, 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 uh. it shows emotion. Okay, so you can repeat the zigzags, try to fill in the whole box. Going dark to light. Don't yawn, don't yawn. Am I yawning? You're gonna yawn, don't yawn. Going dark to light. But yeah, guys, I've been on also like so much fire lately with these YouTube videos because of the email from Jonathan saying, thanks for the video, miss. I mean, I just can't tell you how much that means to me someone watched the video and someone actually did it so you know I just YouTube's kind of a mystery to me right but if I can help someone do art and if I can get my students to do art hey that's a double win internet universe people are wandering around the internet like looking at the wrong stuff art right stuff I mean you can't argue with art you can't argue art's not polarized art just makes you think is art polarized? Okay, look at all those zigzags. They look good. Highlighting it. Can't mess up a zigzag. And we're just exploring. Not holding back. It's late at night where I am. Try to go to bed when the kids go to bed. And I think I'm going to go to bed after this. Guys, you have to like figure out, you don't stay up all night. You need to stop staying up all night. It's bad. You need to, we need our sleep. Okay, um, so these are straight lines and I wasn't sure what to do because I was kind of like, well, I've already done straight lines, but I thought about doing some diagonals and I really in this exercise just want to see different line weights to different line pressures. So you could kind of vary the different boxes. I'm going to look, first of all, you get automatic four if you do it. Right, but I look for reasons to give extra credit because I'm like, oh damn, they really explored line. So I'm throwing in some cross hatching in there. 
because cross hatching is technically a bunch of straight lines. They're just diagonal and they're X's. And you have to, when you're looking at an object and when you're rendering an object, right? It's an interesting word, rendering. We should look it up. You have to like think in line, like, well, which way is this line going? Is that a curvy line? Is that a straight line? Is that a diagonal line? How much space is there? You need to think about that. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I am writing something. A note to you. Remember line is shading, yeah. Line is shading. I wanna learn how to shade, miss, miss. This semester I wanna learn how to shade. I wanna learn how to draw. It's like, well, okay, you have to draw lines then. I love it, they're like, I wanna learn how to draw. And then sometimes like their sketchbook is empty and I'm kind of like, well, okay, well, what am I not doing? So maybe this video will help. Do this and then you could be all proud and be like, okay, I did this. Now what? Now, once you put these lines in your repertoire, then you'll be able to be like, oh, I could do a diagonal line there. Or I could do curvy or I could add some hatching or that's really rough. I'm gonna add some scribbling right there. You start to think like that. You have more tools in your toolbox. There are so many line tools. This is like a collection of lines. So many boxes. How many boxes? We got 15 different types of lines and there are more. Okay, so I'm veering from the Pinterest uh, thing I was copying because I want to throw in some geometry words. Shout out to the math teachers out there. Perpendicular and parallel. Thinking back to our unit on perspective, when we were drawing a one and two point perspective, that was hard for some people. Hopefully this is easier, but we did talk a lot about perpendicular and parallel lines. <clears throat> perpendicular, that's the right line, right angle. I wish I could draw little pictures and I mean, I could do that, but I'm just gonna do this for now. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Okay, if you're like watching and you're like, why is this video going on forever? Well, art takes time. So perpendicular lines have 90 degree angles. If you're a kid, don't worry about it. If you're like a little kid, you're like, wait, what? Don't worry about that. Okay, and parallel lines, they go on forever and they never intersect. They just keep going. And you know, those are different kinds of lines. Like that's the type of line that comes up. Heck, let's throw some geometry in the page. Okay, so this is looking cool. I'm liking where this is going. I'm highlighting my work. You know, throw in some grays. I'm stretching my neck too. I'm always tense right there. Ask yourself, where are you tense? Oh, you guys got a peek at a drawing. That's where I want us to go. I want us to apply line to rendering objects. So like, that's why I'm thinking, like in the next couple of weeks, we will start practicing things and I will keep talking about line, I'll keep talking about value and how we use line and value to create form. That's gonna be the focus, guys. So stay tuned for more videos as we go on this merry journey. And please ask me if you have questions. Ask me if you have questions. Okay, these are curvy lines. Fabulous. So fancy. Curvy. And like, it looks like water. Notice when you repeat, repeat, repeat. It's all of a sudden, it's like, whoa, I just drew water. Or a topographical map, if you know what that is. That's like a map from a bird's eye view. It's like a mountain. It's like, wow, that is cool. It's just... I have learned teaching art for the past, whatever, six years or so. I taught English for a long time, but I have a BFA in art from the University of Michigan. Shout out, go blue. But I have learned, guys, that um, the, the biggest enemy for students with art is fear. Don't be afraid, guys. It's like life is the page. So people hold back, they hold back, they hesitate when they draw. Don't hold back, 
don't hold back. And hopefully once you've done this page, you'll be less afraid. That is my goal. That is my goal. I want you to be less afraid. And guys, at the start of this whole thing, like my art videos were kind of bad. I didn't know what I'm doing. I, I edit videos all the time, but like to make an instructional video, I couldn't wrap my head around that. So let me know, guys, please do this and let me know, give me suggestions. Let me know how to make it better. I'm interested, I'm, I am wanna help you. Okay, spiral. Spiral, that is so pretty. I didn't even think about doing a spiral line, but then I was Google imaging line and I was like, oh, that is a type of line, a spiral. It's like a tornado or a Cinnabon or a flower. I mean, there's so many things that a spiral could be. Uh, 3305. Spiral. No, wait, what am I going to write? Yeah, I'm going to write spiral. Spin. No, I'm going to write spin. Yeah, this is a new one to me. I was like, okay. So I like went on the internet. I was like, what cool thing can I do in this box? So yeah, draw a curvy, wavy line down the box. And what you're going to use, you're going to slowly spin the direction of the line. So another wave. And it kind of like line creates kind of like movement. If you go ahead, draw in different lines. And then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add a spin effect. I'm using my pen for this one. You can use your pencil. Guys, don't be like, I don't have that, you know, and then not do anything. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep repeating lines back and forth, back and forth. Okay. And then I slowly, I think what you do is you slowly change the direction. Sometimes you have a lot of lines closer together and that makes it feel like it's folding in and then slowly go out, slowly go out, slowly go out, slowly go out. Slow, wow. Okay. Going out, going out. Right. I've never done a spin line before. This tells you that you can learn your whole life. Right, and isn't that cool? Notice how you're drawing with pen, you're not holding back. Love it. And then I'm spinning it in another direction. Switching it up, going a different way. It kind of looks like a leaf, and that's the middle of the leaf. Okay, spinning it around, changing the direction, going a different way, shaking it up. slowly ticking it another way. Slowly changing the direction, going to the side. So it's going like this way, tick, 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 and it's spinning. It's literally spinning, kind of like a clock. Right? You could draw like a a circle and then spin the line around, I suppose. Okay, so that was spinning, that was fun. Okay, so, um, you know, here's something to make your piece a little bit more fun. You see my AirPods and my Beats to the right. That's where we're gonna go. I will talk about how I use these different lines to work on that page in another video. But yeah, I'm just going in, I'm zooming out thinking about my whole page, thinking about my work, highlighting everything, you know, cleaning things up, adding stuff. Always remember that to like pull back and look at your art, like that's work. That is work, that is a beautiful thing. So pulling back, spinning, adding highlights. And it's looking good, guys. I'm really proud of these pages. Um, I think what I'm about to do is I'm going to use my pen and I'm going to make the title a little fancier. So I'm using like a blue gray, it looks like, for my dual tip markers. And now that I did all that work with the boxes to create more contrast, I'm going to go ahead and give a hard boundary at the edge. 
and go in. Now, again, I said it's optional. You don't have to have some fancy title, but look, it looks nice. Take pride in your work. And then I got my lessons on the right. Stop yawning. You're making me tired. I know you, you're behind the camera and you're yawning. I can sense it. So I'm putting in some lines. I'm zooming in. Okay, I'm adding another line. Okay, so what I want you to do for fun is when you do the title, again, this is optional, but I think it's cool and you could start doing this. Add, make a title, but then add line in the title. So like divide the inside of the letters into little boxes and then change up the direction. How cool is that? Thank you, Pinterest and Instagram. I mean, switch it up. How neat. Drawing a line, changing the direction. I got some swirly lines. So what I'm doing is I am looking down and this page can be a checklist. You can look at it, be like, oh, am I using different line direction? Am I exploring line with this drawing? And you can go ahead, you could self-assess. Am I doing that? I'm putting in some dots, putting in some dots, putting in some dots, 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 dots. dots. You can tell it's time for bed. Getting a text message from LAUSD. Who knows what they are going to say. Okay, adding in some zigzags. Okay, cleaning it up. Um, you know, I wanna remind everyone, make sure you, my students, make sure you listen to my audio because I point out valuable things that I want you to be thinking about and I want you to reflect about. And make sure you're having fun. I'm cool if you play some music lately in the background, shoot. But it's like, are you understanding? Okay, stop and self-assess. How many times have you looked at your phone? So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just adding in, I'm playing around, I'm adding in a bunch of perpendicular lines. I literally look down and be like, wow, I have perpendicular lines, a bunch of right angle lines, and I repeat them. You look down, you get an idea. Now, I've been thinking a lot, I was watching my daughter draw this morning and I've been thinking a lot about some of you guys. If you wanna trace something, I'm fine with that. And the best way to trace is to tape something to a window. And I will make a video to show that. Okay, I'm getting off topic. I'm adding in swirls. And I'm adding in the spinning. Again, I'm drawing with a pen. And I'm doing this in real time to show you it takes time. And it, it probably will take you longer so it's like maybe you took a break and it's academic prep and you're coming back to working on this page. Da, 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 da. I'm so proud of you guys for doing distance learning. Okay, I'm adding some scribbling. Looks like my husband's beard when it grows out. He has a beard and it just like, it looks like that. Like you create texture with line. And my Mac is gonna go to sleep soon. If it's not plugged into power, I don't have any power here. That's awesome. Just kidding. So maybe I could turn the, I'm gonna turn the, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I do wanna finish this video. Oh my gosh, I just turned the monitor way down. I can hardly see. But I hope you're still out there. I hope you're finishing up things. I'm writing another lesson. Um, the secret is repetition. Yes! The total secret with line is it's just you do it a lot. You repeat it again and again. You know, you keep adding. So adding more vertical. And it's when you keep repeating that it starts to look cool. Right, it's and, and it's meditation, just making a bunch of lines. 
That's, that is a, me lines are a metaphor for each of our thoughts. A line is a thought. A line tells a story. A line is a day. A life is a collection of lines. Life is a, is a piece of artwork. Now the direction you go, that's your choice. Oh, listen to me go so deep, so deep. And you know, anyway, you could do this with any sort of title. Switch up the different directions. Mm. All right, last letter. And you know, it doesn't need to be crazy fancy putting in horizontal, horizontal lines on the E, putting in some diagonal, just switching the direction. Switching up, and that tells a story. Every day is different. Every year is different. This year certainly is different. Oh, I'm adding in some dotted lines. I added in some scribbly lines. I'm going a little faster on this E. Adding in some curvy lines. My ellipses. Two ellipses on the top, just playing around. Notice how, like, I did a thick line on the outside with the marker, and now the pen seems thin. And then I'm adding in some zigzags. So, yeah, guys. I mean, there you have it. Um, you should be proud of this page. Um, hopefully you paused. Hopefully you have been taking a lot of pictures and posting a seesaw. You can get several seesaw posts out of one exercise. My students post to an app called Seesaw. That's their digital portfolio. It's great. Add in some shading. Fabulous. Fabulous. So what am I doing? When you color the background, all of a sudden magic happens. I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden that word looks so much cooler because I brought down the value. Now I'm modeling, putting in shadows. So all of my shadows are on the left side and the bottom. That's what I've been doing since I was a little kid. Don't be like, oh my gosh, I can't do it like misses. It's just sort of like, well, I've been drawing like this since I was a little kid. So left, bottom, left, 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 bottom, bottom, bottom. There you have it. Wow, that looks cool. Art's so pretty. Art makes me so happy. I hope this made you happy. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Oh, I didn't like what I did with this. I highlighted the cloud, but then I was too tired to make the boundary neat and stay in the lines. So, you know, a good artist knows when to stop, guys, too. You feel me? Be okay with stopping. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, it looks like we are done for now for this demo. Um, this is really great. I really hope that you are ha safe and happy. And um, don't forget to post this if you're enrolled in my class. And um, stay tuned, we're going to apply different line directions to different drawing, drawing different forms. And we are just gonna work hard to make sure everyone has an A, right? So like post part of it, let me know how it's going, reach out to me. If you're stuck, if you're scared, please email me. If you're missing a supply, email me and we'll just figure it out. We'll take it one day at a time. Okay, art students, artists out there. Check you later. Whizzle, whizzle. Have a good day, guys.